Hi everyone. Welcome to this special video on preparing an array block for cutting. Once the array mold is warmed in a paraffin bath, place it on an ice plate or ice tray and add a cassette. Always use infiltration embedding type paraffin. When people ask me what brand of paraffin I'm using, I always tell them to use what you are used to cutting with. Since cutting is the most important part of TMA construction, getting a good section is most critical. Fill the cassette to the top with paraffin. This will give you a solid paraffin block for creating your tissue microarray. I'm using free spray around the cassette so I can create a paraffin seal. Before I pull apart the array mold in the paraffin block, I like to wait till they are both at room temperature. The array mold will be softer and more flexible at room temperature and the cores will last longer. Pulling them apart when the rubber is stiff and cold could break some of the core rods out of the array mold. The array mold we are using here is one of our first created. As you can see, it came to us with a short core rod in it. Since we couldn't sell it, we have been using it for testing. In the last three years, I believe we've made around 40 to 50 paraffin arrays from this single array mold. I also like to wait till the array block is at room temperature before I begin putting punches in it. This will reduce the chance of it cracking. You can flatten the punches out from time to time by either pressing a glass slide on top of the surface of the array block or flipping the block over and pressing it gently on the surface of a countertop. Now we can begin to set the punches. Warm an oven to around 43 degrees Celsius. Place the array block on a glass slide face down. It doesn't matter if it's a charged or non-charged glass slide. Some people leave the array block in the oven overnight to soften and set the paraffin to the tissue cores, but we have found that two to four hours works just as well. You may want to test this for yourself because some tissues might need more setting time. Now you'll need to remove the array block and slide from the oven, but don't separate the block and slide yet. Since I only have one oven and the array block needs to stay warm and soft while the single slide is heating in the oven, I'll explain why in a moment. I'm placing the array block and slide together on the edge of my water bath. It's warm enough to keep the block soft while the single slide is heating up. Don't put the array block too close to the glass dish. This area is extremely hot and will definitely melt your array block. Please test this procedure with a blank paraffin block and slide if you are going to use it for yourself. It may not work for you with your water bath. You'll need to heat up another slide around 70 to 80 degrees Celsius by itself. Carefully remove the hot slide from the oven and place it on top of the slide that's stuck to the array block. You will see that the surface of the array block paraffin will liquefy. The two slides will be able to move around together. This sets the surface of the array block and gets rid of any air pockets. Once liquefied, quickly remove the hot slide and flip the array block and its original slide over on the countertop to cool. Allow it to cool for 10 to 15 minutes. Once at room temperature, place them together on a cold plate or ice tray for at least 15 more minutes to cool down. After that 15 minutes, the slide should come off the array block quite easily. The first trim into your array block to get a flat surface. If your microtome chuck is at a different angle than your array block, you may want to adjust your chuck so that it is flat against your block. You don't want to cut away a valuable tissue facing into an array block. Once you have trimmed into the block, put the block back on an ice tray and move the blade to a new area or change the blade. You can see in the tissue ribbon some of the punch cores are missing. Actually, they are only curled. This is common when cutting an array block. When you lay the ribbon on a water bath, they usually flatten out.
Thanks for watching and I hope the techniques that I've showed you here will help you to create tissue microarrays. And thanks for choosing the array mold.